Hello all, welcome to the class of biology. So in today's video, we are going to see few questions from the chapter called ecosystem. So in the chapter of ecosystem, you will be learning the very important question from the previous year question papers. Let us discuss how to answer these questions and what are the questions we can expect. And here is the very first question. So the secondary productivity is the rate of formation of new organic matter is by. So actually primary productivity is by producers. So, so what is the meaning of secondary productivity is? So the productivity which we get from consumers that we call it as the secondary productivity. So the correct answer is consumer because the consumers will eat the producer. So now the consumers will give the products that we call it as the secondary productivity, which is an indirect productivity. And the next question, which of the following is not a gaseous biogeochemical cycle in the ecosystem? So which is, which one of the following is not a gaseous biogeochemical cycle in the ecosystem? This is the question from NEET AIPMT 2012. So the correct answer is phosphorus cycle. Phosphorus cycle is not a gaseous biogeochemical cycle. So phosphorus, you cannot see the phosphorus as gas. You can see it as carbon, you can see it as gas. So in the form of carbon dioxide, oxygen also as gas. Nitrogen, we can see it as nitrogenous gas, but not with phosphorus. So the correct answer is phosphorus. Identity the follow, identify the possible link A in the following food chain. So green plants, green plants is been eaten by insects. Insects are eaten by frog. Frog is eaten by snake. So snake is eaten by eagle. So here, which one is the snake? Cobra. So frog will e is eaten by cobra and cobra is eaten, frog will eat the, frog is eaten by the cobra and cobra is eaten by the eagle. So the correct answer is cobra. While you are answering the question, please keep in mind. So whether you are selecting the correct option or not, related to the question or not. Next question. Which one of the following is not a functional unit of the ecosystem? Okay, so the correct answer is stratification. Stratification means differentiation. Differentiation is not the functional unit of ecosystem. Energy flow is the uh, functional unit of ecosystem. Productivity, decomposition, these are all the units of ecosystem except the stratification. We will not discuss the stratification as the unit of ecosystem. Next. Which ecosystem has maximum biomass? So maximum biomass you can see in forest ecosystem. If you see in the, all these options, lake ecosystem, lake is very small, grassland ecosystem, pond ecosystem. So out of this all, forest ecosystem is the biggest one and the maximum biomass is observed. The upright Pyramid of numbers is absent in the upright pyramid of numbers is absent in forest. So in forest, you cannot see the upright pyramid of numbers. The mass of living material at a tropic level, at a particular time, we call it as, this is a standard definition for standing crop. So this is a standard definition for standing crop. So nothing but the mass of living material at a tropic level, at a particular time, we call it a standing crop. Secondary succession takes place on. So actually, the secondary succession takes place on degraded forest. So again, reforestation will be possible in degraded forest. Not on a newly cooled lava, you cannot see the secondary succession. So bare rocks, newly in degraded forest, you can see that. Again, you can see the new forest coming. 
the term ecosystem was coined by so this is uh, most of the time you can see this question the term ecosystem is coined by ag tansley so the term ecosystem is coined by ag tansley and the next question the primary producers of the deep sea hydrothermal vent ecosystem so what we call it as the primary productivity primary producers of the deep sea hydrothermal vent ecosystem the correct answer is chemosynthetic bacteria so chemosynthetic bacteria you can you can see the blue green algae in fresh water not in uh, like deep sea or green algae as well coral reef are not the primary producers so chemosynthetic bacteria are the primary producers here is the very important notice again so every day for 7:30 pm turbo quiz that is going to be happen in an academy website so the link is already posted in the description box please do click the link and go for neat ug 2022 so top quality questions will be there curated by the top educators daily practice for neat ug 2022 and everything is free here so no need to pay anything every week top performers will get an academy goodies so and 30 minutes 15 questions and and you can enroll for free so for enrolling the referral code is gss03 so don't forget to enroll my dear friends for your best and best practice and analysis of the question and detailed the solution will be given by an academy so please make sure to enroll it today with the referral code of gss03 if you want like this questions you please do connect to my free live classes which is going to be happen in an academy and the link will be posted in the description box please do follow it and we'll go with some of the other questions as well okay here are some of the other questions the largest ecosystem in the world so which one is called the largest ecosystem in the world we have the options of forest grassland great lakes oceans so obviously the correct answer for this question is oceans oceans are considered as the largest ecosystem in the world okay and next the driving force for an ecosystem is so the driving force for an ecosystem is nothing but carbohydrates in producers that is the driving force for the ecosystem option c is the correct answer carbohydrates in producers which most often limits the primary productivity of the ecosystem so for primary productivity nothing but for the plants blue green algae for all those things we need for it has photosynthesis so for photosynthesis the main energy source is solar light solar radiation or light so that is the main limiting if solar light is not there then the primary productivity will not be there okay so solar light or radiation benthos of pond ecosystem are so the benthos of pond ecosystem is nothing but primary consumers we call it as the benthos of pond ecosystem are primary consumers a recently discovered ecosystem is vent the vent is recently discovered ecosystem an incomplete ecosystem an incomplete ecosystem is nothing but cave cave is an incomplete ecosystem that is a temporary ecosystem how much portion of par is captured by the plants so par uh, maximum the Two to ten percent of the radiation will be captured by the plants. We call that as par. And two to ten percent. This is the correct answer. Two to ten percentage. So next thing we are going to see is plankton, nectar, benthos are not the components of one of the ecosystem. Which one is that? Grassland. so plankton nectar and benthon are the components of oceans fresh water rivers ponds and lakes not with grasslands 
So the correct answer is grassland. So it, these terminology will not associate it with grassland ecosystem. And we'll move to the next question. Which one of the following is the most stable ecosystem? So these questions are from the pre-YQs, previous year question papers. So you can expect any of the questions from here. So the largest ecosystem, we otherwise the most stable ecosystem, nothing but the ocean. Ocean is the most stable ecosystem so far. The process by which a lake ecosystem is altered by eutrophication involves several stages. Each causes the next. Which one of the following stages would occur second in the chain of causation? So we'll see uh, here, the correct answer is algal bloom will occur. So how this happens is, initially the phosphorus input from sewage and agriculture will increase. So the algal bloom will occur. So if the algal bloom occur, the respiratory demand, the respiratory demand from decomposers increases and the oxygen level dro drops in the deeper ocean. So which occurs one after the other. So the several things will occur with eutrophication. So that's why we call that as, so the algal bloom occurring. So is nothing but, so which is the effects of eutrophication. And next question. Phosphorus usually becoming a limiting factor at certain times of an year in, in aquatic ecosystem because that will remain as a sediments in the oceans and seas. That's why it is usually become a limiting factor at certain times of the year. The pyramid of number, the pyramid of number in grassland ecosystem is. So the pyramid of number in grassland ecosystem is upright. So the number of organisms in grassland ecosystem decreases progressively from first tropical level from the producers. Thus, the pyramid of number in grassland ecosystem becomes upright in shape. So the correct answer is upright. Here is the question. So a pasture of 40 acres. Excuse me. A pasture of 40 acres has a biomass of 40 cages. A posture of 40 acres has a biomass of 40 cages per hectare and roughly around 10 lakhs calories of energy. Cattle gauging in this structure are sold for beef. So, but how many calories of energy from the posture reaches the human consumers of the beef? So, the correct answer for this is, so uh, the entire thing is, so in this entire roughly it will be 10 lakhs. After this, only 10% of energy is transferred between tropic levels. Thus, it will become uh, like 1 lakh. So 1 lakh calories are in the cows and are available to the human consumers. So only 10% it will be there. So it will be of 1 lakh. So we have to observe only 10%. It will be transferred from person to person. So tropic level to tropic level. So Which hypothesis regarding what limits food chain length has to be most supportive? So nothing but environmental complexity hypothesis. The name of that hypothesis is environmental complexity uh, hypothesis. Which among the following is likely to have highest level of DDT depositions in its body? So the correct option is seagulls. Seagulls so DDT is actually non-biodegradable pollutant. So it will do not degrade or degrade very slowly in nature. They are often biologically magnified with their subsequent movement in food chain. So its concentration in the seagull is highest actually. Energy flow through a linear ecosystem. 
So energy flow through an ecosystem differ from nutrient flow in that. Okay, energy flow ecosystem is different and the nutrient flow in the ecosystem is different. So the correct answer is option A. So energy flow is linear actually because energy cannot be recycled. So here they have given the four of the pyramids. So we have to represent the variation in biomass at different tropic levels in pond ecosystem. So the correct answer is the third one. So option C. So the pyramid will be like this in the pond ecosystem. So primary producers, above the primary consumers, above the secondary consumers. That is the graph for pond ecosystem we have to remind. Okay, friends. So these are the questions. These are the few questions from the ecosystem. I hope uh, you got some of the information from this video. And like these questions, if you want to practice, please do follow my free classes in an academy. And at the same time, so an academy uh, turbo quiz, which is going to be happen on every day, 7.30 p.m., 30 minutes, 15 questions. Okay. So the referral code is GSS03. And don't forget to enroll now with this referral code. Okay, my dear friends. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.